It is a pleasure to be here at the Wheeler Centre. This is the um, home of books and ideas and writing, self-declared, but fundamentally the Wheeler Centre is this magnific magnificent home of the word. Uh, and this has been an extraordinary addition to uh, Melbourne's and Victoria's cultural uh, legacy. And I do acknowledge and pay tribute to those in the previous government included who uh, conceived and made the Wheeler Centre happen, in particular uh, Maureen and, and Tony Wheeler and, and the many others who've made the Wheeler Centre what it is. It's an extraordinary addition and this is a great add-on to what is an extraordinary centre here uh, adjacent to the State Library and this itself part of Victoria's great heritage, our civic legacy as a piece of architecture, uh, as an institution of 150 years uh, and more. Uh, it is a part of what makes Melbourne and Victoria special and it is something we all treasure uh, and we acknowledge that and we uh, are proud to be here and proud to be a part of this. Uh, the Wheeler Centre is where many of the best writers and thinkers in Australia uh, and from indeed from around the world come to discuss their work, share their ideas and indeed carve and cultivate their written words. Uh, of course, uh, in biblical terms, in the beginning, there was the word. Now, between the word and literature, a lot of other stuff happened. But we are now in a situation uh, where literature has evolved from oral traditions to print traditions and now to the electronic age. But the value we give to the word, to ideas and to stories has remained a constant and a part of our lives. Victoria um, has a very proud literary tradition and we have a culture of reading and a strong engagement in literary events and indeed in festivals and the Writers' Festival and many other festivals uh, again rolling around this year. Literature's in the lifeblood of Victorians culturally, historically and it is at the forefront of ideas and Victorians can be proud of the fact that over 150, 160 years Victorians have been at the forefront of ideas in this nation and that is one of the strong points of Victoria. This was recognised by UNESCO in the designation of Melbourne as a city of literature in 2008 and in many other areas. Now I pay tribute as I've done before to uh, Steve Brax who introduced the Premier's Reading Challenge. We have sought this year to take that a step further and we took that dramatic step a few months ago of moving the apostrophe and making it the Premier's plural uh, reading challenge and I know Victorian children right across this state enjoy the challenge and they are looking forward to this year's events and I know many youngsters uh, read up to 100 books last year and just moving the apostrophe has been a lesson in grammar, a lesson in writing, a lesson in history and a lesson I hope in reading. Uh, today I'm very pleased to announce changes to the Victorian Premier's Literary Awards and these awards uh, have been a part of Victoria for a number of years. They've had bipartisan support. And these changes seek to streamline the awards and strengthen our support for literature in this state. And it is our intention, and indeed we will, make Victoria home to the single most valuable literary prize in the country. Our new literary awards will include five categories for fiction, non-fiction, drama, poetry, and writing for young adults, each with a prize of $25,000. The winners of these categories will then be in the running for the major prize, the Victorian Prize for Literature, worth an additional $100,000 for the best overall literary work. The Victorian Prize for Literature will see the overall winner receive $125,000, by far the largest prize for a writer in Australia and a significant prize by world standards and commensurate with our international recognition and acknowledgement as a city of literature. This uh, clearer streamlined structure for the awards provides parity across the categories and increases the prizes for drama, poetry and writing for young adults and of course the overall prize pool. The awards will offer readers the best of the best in an accessible structure that highlights 21 extraordinary shortlisted works, six titles each in the categories of fiction and non-fiction, and three titles each for the other three categories. 
In addition to the main awards, which will continue to be presented in September each year, from 2012, the program will include a $15,000 award for an unpublished manuscript to be presented as part of the Emerging Writers Festival in May, and a $20,000 biennial prize for Indigenous writing to coincide with Indigenous Literacy Day in September, an increase of $5,000 from the previous offering. These changes are designed to boost the profile and impact of the Victorian Premier's Literary Awards. And I believe they make a clear statement on the importance of writers and writing in our society and our culture. The awards were inaugurated in 1985 by John Kane, uh, and I acknowledge John's contribution. And uh, they have received, as I said before, strong bipartisan support over the years. I'm proud to continue this tradition of honouring and rewarding literary achievement by Australian writers, and I acknowledge the work of the Wheeler Centre and Arts Victoria in reviewing the awards program and the contribution of many in our literary sector, writers, publishers, booksellers, all whose valuable inputs help shape these New Look Awards, and these do arise from a, a review of the awards. I'm also pleased to today announce continued ongoing funding for the Melbourne City of Literature initiative of $250,000 a year uh, plus indexation. Importantly, this will secure future funding for the Melbourne Writers' Festival as a premier international literary event, enabling it to build on its great success of recent years. Funding will also expand the impact of the City of Literature program, boosting literary activity and raising the profile of literature across the state. In short, it will enable us to live up to our UNESCO designation as a city of literature. And finally, to the writers across Australia, uh, entries for the 2011 Victorian Literary Awards, including the first Victorian Prize for Literature, are now open. And the last word at uh, a function where the word is important is to say thank you to all the writers in Victoria and across Australia who contribute every day to enhancing ideas, thoughts, and indeed the feelings of so many Australians. Pleasure to be here, Gabriel. I look forward to the awards and I look forward to these new categories, uh, fulfilling dreams for writers well into the future. Thanks very much and thank you for being here. Congratulations, Premier, on um, underlining um, the state's continuing support for these awards. I'm old enough to remember when these awards began, and as the Premier said, they have had bipartisan support, uh, which is now over a period of 25 years. Uh, this really became apparent the year that uh, Jeff Kennett became Premier, and uh, he uh, came to speak at the Premier's Literary Dinner and to hand out the awards for that year. And he told a story, which is a wonderful story, which was that when he first became a minister, he was given a ministerial car, and uh, he got into the car and he gave the driver the address uh, and the car didn't move and the driver didn't acknowledge him. He thought the driver might be a little bit hard of hearing so he repeated the address and still nothing happened. Uh, and finally, uh, the, uh, Mr. Kennett leant forward and said, is there a problem? And the driver turned around and said, I want you to understand one thing very clearly. You're temporary and I'm permanent. Um, <laughs> and, uh, these awards, though, they um, have um, uh, been administered by various premiers who have come and gone. They are a permanent thing, and I really do congratulate you, Premier, on your underlying support for these awards and the reforms to the awards which are going to make a big difference. Awards matter in a handful of ways, and they're all key ways. Um, they change the lives of writers, uh, and if you're going to be the writer who's lucky enough to uh, win either an award for $25,000 or $125,000, you're going to be given something very precious, which is time, because wh what writers need more than anything, the most precious asset, is time. But the other thing that's terribly important about awards is that awards are one of the really, really valuable tools that we have to encourage reading. And with um, a refined shortlist of 21 books, the thousands and thousands and thousands of people in our city and our state who are great supporters of Australian writers are going to be given a premium list of what to read. 
and the importance of these awards to promote reading in our community really can't be underestimated. And again, I think that's um, a marvellous thing, Premier, because reading uh, is one of the things that binds our communities together and binds our societies together. So um, let me just uh, uh, finish by saying that um, uh, not only is the Wheeler Centre um, something that has transformed the life of writing and reading and ideas in our city, but this city is a great city of reading and writing and publishing, and I think it's a marvellous thing that we now have these awards which are going to become some of the most sought after in the country. So, Premier, again, thank you very much.